Good morning guys, Steve from Lakeshore RV. Just gonna do the video orientation on your Cougar fifth wheel that you're gonna be picking up. Um, if I miss anything or if you have questions, feel free to get a hold of me at 231-736-9162. And what we'll do is we'll start on the outside here, uh, work our way to the inside. And again, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Um, starting on the outside here with your fold up steps, you'll wanna make sure that the door is all the way open. Um, put these down or bringing them up um, if you have it closed just a little bit you can see right there you're not gonna have the clearance and the steps will catch on the door so make sure that's all the way open your passenger storage right here and inside you do have a power outlet and then uh, for cable uh, if you want to hook up a tv out here you can go ahead and do that you have your 50 amp power cord and then also your um uh, for the outside shower, your blue coil holes. Under here, that's the in command. Um, if you need to manually operate the uh, slide outs or the awnings, uh, you can do that um, right under the cover there. There's a selector for each individual electric motor and then a switch to go ahead and do that. I have uh, more information on that on a separate um, video that I'll send out to you. As we go along the side here, you've got uh, two 30 pound propane tanks. Uh, you're going to have one on each side right here. And then in the front compartment, you're going to have your spare tire and also uh, where the battery goes. So that's going to be right there. Going over to the other side here, as far as the, uh, the pass-through storage, I'll get this opened up. And this is going to be where all your connections are at. So you have right here on the bottom, you have your poles for one of the gray tanks that will be for the bathroom. There's a secondary, uh, a second gray tank right here. The pole is underneath right there next to the discharge tube. That, that will be for the kitchen. You have your black tank flush right there. That's where you hook the hose up to to uh, jet out the black tank. City water connection and then winterization right there. And then um, the hot water bypass is, is also right there as well. That blue coil holds, goes into the top. That's where your um, outside shower is. Right here, you have your um, operation for the automatic leveling system. We'll, we'll go over that when you get here as far as how that automatic leveling system works and then show you how to raise and lower the jacks to get it on and off of your truck. we keep going along you have your gas electric hot water heater that's operated from the in command center on the inside then you have your furnace exhaust right here um, and like I mentioned before that's where your uh, your tube is that you'll hook up the sewer hose to that's the discharge valve right there going all the way to the back if you want to fill the fresh water tank it is under um, behind that compartment door right there you can go ahead and then uh, that's just that 751 key to unlock it and open that up you have a ladder going up to the top it is a walkable roof to get up there and do maintenance next to that you do have the it is prep for the rear camera that is the uh, Furion brand uh, camera that would go right there you have your um, 50 amp connector right here and then the hitch uh, right underneath for uh, that's a two inch receiver hitch if you want to put like a bike rack or something back there as we go over to the side, you do have your awning right here. This is on your slide out. That's the second awning. First awning is over the door and the compartments there. And that is um, operated inside. Then you have your two outside speakers as well. As you walk in, you have your um, right there. That is the in command center. And like I said, I'll have a separate video uh, that I'll send over to you on that as far as the, uh, how that operates. And as we go through, guys, um, the inside of the coach here, I know you've been out to see it before, so really nothing new to show you. Um, you've got your um, outlets back here, your light switches for the back. Um, TV's going to get mounted in here yet. You have your pantry right here. Um, still waiting on that other pantry door for you guys. And then the um, Dometic side-by-side -side fridge. This right here, your functions to operate it is going to be your on-off automatic. 
and then temperature set. That's all controlled right there. Additional instructions are just on the inside of the door on how that operates. But basically, if you turn it on, keep it on automatic, it will, when you plug into electric, it will go to electric. When you unplug, it will go over to gas. And walking through the uh, bedroom area, or I'm sorry, the bathroom area here, guys, uh, foot flush toilet right here. And then you have um, your GFI outlet right there. So if you have a couple of outlets that aren't working, make sure you check that first um, to see if that's tripped. If it tripped, just go ahead and reset it. If it trips again, uh, then we've got, uh, you know, obviously something else going on. The um, bed up here, this is the queen bed for you guys um, that's been put on. And then across the front, you do have the wardrobe storage and then um, washer dryer prep inside here. But if you guys have any other questions, feel free to get a hold of me. You can reach me uh, direct at 231-736-9162. Otherwise, I'll plan on seeing you guys uh, when you come pick it up. Thank you much and have a great day.